Hello and welcome back to How to Use a Weber. My name is Terry Bork. I'm a divorced mom of two amazing teenagers and I've became involved in social media marketing because an income cap was placed on me by corporate America and the only way for me to provide for my family and be do and have everything that I wanted was to forge my own path. This is video 6 in our 7 part series on how to set up your AWeber account. If you've missed any of the previous tutorials, please review those before you continue with this one. You're going to want to complete the 7 tutorials um, and when you're finished with all of them, you'll have your AWeber account all ready to go. To review what we've done so far and where we're going, well, we initially talked about why you would want to have an AWeber account and use autoresponders. We set up your email, we created a confirmation email, we created follow-up messages, we created a broadcast message, now we're creating our web form, and last we're going to learn how to become an affiliate with AWeber. So let's head on over to our AWeber account right now and get going with creating our web form. What we're going to want to do is come up here to the blue tab that says Web Forms and we want to verify that we're on our list, Barkery, uh, for, for the sakes of this tutorial. I do want to point out that if you come to the bottom of the page, you'll see a quick area that if you need quick help, AWeber has little tutorials and, and guides that will help you in the process and you can just click on how do I add a form to my website that might be kind of helpful later on if you need to learn how to um, insert a web form onto your blog. We're not going to cover this because there's so many different types of blogs out there. The best way for you to handle it is work with your FAQ and your help desk from your blog if you need a hand. So let's go ahead and create our web form. It just takes a moment for it all to load up and you'll have an opportunity to select from a whole bunch of different types of um, formats I like basic, um, it's easy for me to use, but whatever you enjoy, you can click on. There's a whole bunch of, of uh, forms that you can click on and make work for you. You'll notice up here is your header, um, up here is your required field for your name and the email, and then down here is your footer, and lastly is your submit button. Okay, um, let's just take a look at each of these for a moment. In our name area, if you click on edit, um, you'll see that it's the name. It's going to be the full name. Um, if you want to change it to make it first and last name, um, you can click on that and it will actually change the requirement for you. I think full name is fine. The other thing you'll notice is it, uh, the box right here that says it's required. I think it's very important for the people that opt into my list to put their name. I make it a required field. I want to know who's requesting information from me so I can make sure that you know I address my paperwork correctly for them. So required will be a field that's um, needed. Next is the email. Um, you'll notice with email that it it's must be there. Um, it's not re you know there's no option whether or not you can select it to be in there or not. The email label um, it has to stay. You can call it something else if you want to. Um, also, what's missing for me is a phone number. What you're going to need to do is to create a new field. So you'll come over here to create new field, and you can type in you know phone. And we're good to go there. Going to click OK. Um, and uh, OK. Um, may want to say um, whatever, daytime phone. And click OK. And here I have an option of what I want it to be. I actually want it to be in a text area, but if, if it was like a yes, no button that I would want them to check for a survey, I could simply, you know, make it a radio button or a drop down box. So daytime phone, and it's going to be okay. And there you'll see it right there. Now, if I don't want it later on, I can always remove it. Now, I don't make daytime phone a requirement on my. Um, on my opt-in sheet and the reason why I don't is because a lot of times you know either people won't opt in if they have to leave a phone number or they'll enter a wrong phone number or put one digit so I leave it as an option but I do want it on there just in case I want to reach out to them for any other purpose okay next I want to come up here to my header I like putting in headers and headers are kinda of cool I've got a nice big area and this is where I get to tell people what they're opting into. So let's go ahead and add our information. I'm going to type in here get your free ebook um, how to 
stop your dog from barking. And I'm going to do that. I know I've made some typographical errors, so let me uh, fix those. How to stop your dog from barking. And then I'm going to come down again and I'm going to say learn how, um, why your dog barks and how to correct the bad behavior. Okay, um, great. Now what I can do is actually um, fancy this up. You'll see I can change, I'm um, going to highlight this and I'm going to change my font on this one. Uh, I can make it whatever Tahoma. Uh, maybe I want to make the font larger so I can come down here and select a nice big fat font. So I'm going to pick 24. Maybe I don't like the color so I want to make it green. Um, maybe I want to bold it. Um, next, maybe I want to center it. So whatever I want to do for this particular thing. Um, then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come down to this next um, one. Uh, and I might want to pick a different font for this one. Maybe um, I want to make it, I don't know, um, Tribute MS. And I'm going to make this font maybe not as big as the first one. Maybe I'm just going to make this one 18. Um, maybe I want to bold that one. I still maybe I want to center it again. Uh, maybe I want to make it a different color as well. Um, so I can go ahead and enter that all right in there. And you see that it lines up nicely on my web form. Okay, so we have our, our header up here. We have our name, our phone number, uh, and our email. Next, I want to edit my submit button. Maybe I want it to say, um, you know, whatever I want it to say, uh, send my book. Uh, now um, so send my book and then I'm gonna click OK and I like how that is I don't always put a footer on things it's up to you so whatever you want it whatever you want to do there um, then I'm gonna save my web form and here it is we're all set now next thing that I'm gonna want to do is I want to go to step two and here's where I enter my form name. Now this is very, very important. My form name is just going to tell me, and only me, what it is that I've offered here, and that way I'll always remember. So I'll say free ebook to stop um, dog barking. This way I'll know exactly what it is. This next thing will be the thank you page that I'm sending people to, um, and all it's going to say if we preview it here, um, you know, we're almost done. Activate your subscription because we've asked them to opt into our list. Okay, next is um, the subscribe page. Again, it's going to be basic, so we're going to save the web form and we're all good to go. And then we're going to go to step three. In step three, we'll actually get our HTML code. So what I'll do is I'll click on I will install my web form. And if I come right down here to my JavaScript, I'm going to see it. It's right there. I can copy it. I'm going to copy and then I'm going to bring it over to my blog. And I'm going to paste the link into my blog or onto my squeeze page or whatever it is. So there you have it. Nice and easy way to create a web form. You are perfect to go with your AWeber account. Um, and I am so excited that I had an opportunity to share with you how to create your web form. Um, if you have any questions, please give me a call. My number 813-863-1452. Uh, we reached the end of this tutorial. We're going to come back on our next tutorial. I'm going to show you how to become an affiliate with AWeber. Um, if you found value in this tutorial, please share it with a friend. Again, my name is Terry Bork, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Make it a great day.